I love Jody and Donna. Hey guys, so this is going to be my supernatural convention like overview. I'm going to be sharing my experiences and also showing you guys some of the things that I picked up while I was there at the convention. It's going to be a little bit of a long video, so I apologize in advance. But um, yeah, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys the shirt that I'm wearing. So I got this supernatural winchester brothers official tour shirt and i'm sorry if the lighting is horrible but it basically says the shut your cake hole 2016 convention and on the back it has all of the con dates and it has uh i think it has baby on it if i'm not mistaken it has a picture of baby and this was 20 dollars, so shirts there are pretty decently priced i mean that's pretty much what you pay for a shirt at hot topic and stuff like that so that was cool um, I will go ahead and show you guys this because I absolutely love this jacket. If I can get it off the chair, excuse my messy room. Um, so I got this awesome jean jacket from the Hunter's Den. They are awesome. They go to the conventions a lot. So I will leave a link to their store down below because their stuff is amazing. I wish I could have bought more. So it's just a light blue jean jacket and on the front it has the anti-possession again i'm sorry for the light anti-possession symbol uh, embroidered on the front and the back which is one of my favorites has baby again lighting sorry and then it has sam and dean's initials and i love this jacket i have not stopped wearing it since um since i left san francisco and uh let's see i left monday it's wednesday i haven't stopped wearing this jacket i absolutely love it so i will leave a link for their store down below for you guys um let's see okay so i mentioned this last year in my um convention video they sell these journals there's a new design um which i wish i could have gotten because i love it um but they sell these journals at the convention for you to hold your photo ops and your tickets and it has a bunch of extra pages so you can write whatever you want and they put out new pages so i had to get them they are amazing and you know they feature a lot of the characters from the show there's a page in here um that you know there's sam and dean pages there's one for crowley uh, there's one for Cass. There's a Bobby page, a page for Charlie, as you can see there. There's, you know, pages for Kevin and Chuck. And they even have this cool one with uh, motels, dives, and diners, which I think is cool because uh, I'm going to put my... Hi, Katie. I'm going to put my, um, my hotel key and stuff like that in there. So these are freaking awesome. Conquest journals, they are amazing. They also have journals for Doctor Who and The Walking Dead which I definitely want to get to at some point when I start meeting more of those cast members. But check them out. They're going to be releasing some new journals soon and one in which I'm really, really excited for. So I cannot wait for those to come out. I am also going to leave their link down below in the description. So if you guys have a con coming up or you just want a really cool journal to like post, you know, to put your supernatural like artwork in or, you know, photos, whatever you want to do, definitely get one of these folders because they are awesome so i'm also gonna leave that in the description below for you guys um got a magnet for my whiteboard i've always wanted to get the supernatural magnets but i just never had the chance so i have one now um this was cool they were hand handing these out on sunday for richard and rob's panel so it's a just a little kings of con crown which it's hard to wear with the beanie but I loved wearing it. It was fun. So it kind of just actually, uh, my Jared cutout wears it. So that's cool. Um, let's see. Oh, this was amazing. This is a Jared pillow. I don't know the name of the vendor. So if anyone knows the name of the vendor who makes these pillows, please let me know so I can, um, leave a link to a store if they have one. But this was actually a gift from a woman named Julie. She's absolutely incredible. I met her, I saw her throughout the weekend, but I didn't speak to her really until Sunday. And we maybe had like a 15 or 20 minute conversation. And 
you know, she says she really connected with me. She's a really sweet woman. And while we were in line, while me and my friend Elle were in line for one of the photo ops, she came up to me with this pillow and said that she bought it for me and that it was specifically a Jared Padalecki pillow. And, you know, she did not have to. This woman had only met me and spoken to me for 20 minutes and she did this. So I thought this was incredible. I absolutely love him. I have been snuggling with him since I got him. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So thank you, Julie. That was absolutely amazing of you. Um, I have this random axe bag, which is actually signed by Misha because me and Elle did a random act of kindness and we bought a Misha photo op for uh, my con neighbor, the girl who was sitting next to me. She didn't have any... Hi! <laughs> Hi! Um, she didn't have any photo ops. She's 14 years old. It was her first ever convention. She's never met any celebrity of any kind. So, you know, we decided to buy her a Misha photo op. And Misha's her favorite of the show, so I was glad. And because of that, Random Axe gave us an autographed bag, so I thought that was cool. So I have a bunch of stuff in here. Um, they were handing these out as well. Just little posters of Kings of Con. so I'm definitely keeping this and getting Rich and Rob to sign it next time I see them. Um, just have my badge, which was purple, and the wristband was purple, which perfect, because I love purple. Oh, these stickers are also from from um, Conquest to put in the journals. I got the Sam and Dean stickers. Again, really sorry for the lighting if you can't see them too well, but um, they also have Castiel stickers, uh, character stickers. So uh, there's a pack that has like Kevin and Crowley and Lucifer and stuff like that. And then they also have one for like different restaurants and um, motels that the boys have stayed at. So I thought those were cool. I'm definitely gonna order more on their website when I recover from this weekend. Um, this was a gift from Elle. She spoils me. She got, she traded with someone to get me a Gil McKinney autograph because I love Gil. And I also love him in Once Upon a Time, so now I do need to get him on something supernatural. Jared's sister Megan was there, so I got her brand new book. I just think her books are so cute. And just the artwork that she does in them, I think, are really, really unique. And they're just so, they're adorable. They're absolutely adorable. So, she signed it to me. And she was just really sweet. And this really is a really cute little book. Um, I haven't read through it, but I have looked at the pictures. I mean, how cute is that? That's a moon. It's a little squid. And that's pretty much how I felt all weekend. <laughs> from anxiety. But this is such a cute little book. So if you have like little sisters or brothers, cousins, you have your own kids. This is just an adorable thing um, to get them like for the holidays or anything like that. It's such a cute book. And Megan is a sweetheart. She's so super sweet. They were giving these out at the end of the convention when everything was said and done. They were giving out t-shirts and my neighbor uh, Aaliyah grabbed one for me because she knows I'm a Sam girl. So it's a huge shirt, so I'm probably going to wear this to sleep. And it just says Sam Winchester, and it says, uh, I lost my shoe on it. So everyone loves that line. Um, I have two more, three more things in here, and then I'm going to move on to my photo ops and my autos. I'm trying to go through this as fast as I can, so you guys aren't sitting here for 40 minutes like last time. I can't make promises, though. So, the... Okay. What I'm going to show you guys in here is from Supernatural Specialties. Yeah, Supernatural Specialties. I There's something of theirs I'd wanted to get for the longest time, and I've finally got it. But first, I wanted to show you my brand new cell phone case. Again, you can't see it because of the glare. Let me see if I can get a better angle. There we go. So it is a iPhone 6 phone case, and it's pink like a metallic-y pink, and it says, carry on my way with daughters. I am in love with this phone case. The second I saw it, I was like, okay, I need to change my phone case. So, sorry, uh, my phone case was once upon a time. Sorry, sorry, uh, Colin, you're no longer on my phone. But I love this phone case. It's going back on immediately after I finish this video because I'm filming on my phone. Um, the other thing I got from Supernatural Specialties I've been wanting forever 
and I think next time I'm gonna get the Crowley version of it because I think the Crowley one is really freaking cool so I got Castiel's Grace as a necklace there's two versions of this there's this long thin version and there's a there's a shorter fatter version they both look beautiful the I know if I'm correct the shorter fatter version uh, the effect of the grace shows more um, but this one is a little bit brighter so I like that this was brighter so basically I guess I'll put it on real quickly if I can find there it is I'm playing Supernatural so if I glance over I'm watching Hibbing 911 so there's the grace and basically you pulled it from the top and you twist and unfortunately because this is a video <laughs> It's probably the actual effect of it is not going to show up, but it gives a swirled, um, it looks like there might be like pulled cotton or something in there, and it gives the effect that it's like swirling and moving, and it looks really, really cool. So I'm excited to start wearing this a lot. And like I said, she has a red one that is uh, for Crowley. So that's definitely something I'm going to get. And for something that's so unique and so awesome, the price was really decent. So I'm going to leave a link to them below. Also, if you want your own grace, um, because oh, I don't want enough forever. And the last thing I have in here is uh, I think everyone within the fandom is aware um, or mostly aware of Eldwin's Fantasies. I believe that's the name. Um, and they make really, she makes really amazing jewelry. Uh, it's like her own interpretation of certain characters and events of the show. So being a Sam girl, I looked at her Sam things and the one that caught my eye was uh, a piece that she makes called the Soul of Sam Winchester. And again, because my lighting is really bad in this room because I'm away from my window, <sighs> video won't do it justice. But I absolutely love this. Again, it's called The Soul of Sam Winchester. And she makes it there at the convention. Uh, she makes every piece uh, made to order. And each piece, you know, she makes it a little bit uniquely different. So that not one piece of jewelry is the same. And I haven't worn it yet. So this is actually going to be the first time I'm putting it on. Oh my god. I freaking love this necklace. Oh my god. Okay, I'm wearing it for the rest of the video. Um, they're amazing. The cast has worn their necklaces. Uh, Eric Kripke recently called uh, one of her Impala pieces badass because it is. So I'm leaving a link down below. Definitely check out their website or uh, their Etsy shop and their website because they're just... <sighs> I, I can't express enough how much I love that jewelry, and I'm definitely getting more next time I go because, like, she makes things for the Padalakis and the Ackles and the Collins and, like, the family, so I think that's freaking awesome. So, photos. I'm going to move on to the photos, or, you know what, no, I'm going to show you guys the autographs real quick because they're actually already on my wall. So, ignore my messy room. We're going on a trip. Oh, dear. So... I made paintings for all of them to sign, so I've already put them up on my wall, but la. So I've got Jared and Jensen's right there, and everyone loved the paintings. Jensen thought his was cool. Jared said that he thought it was amazing, which made me happy. Misha read it, <laughs> and he thought that that was really cool. Mark said he liked it. He said it was sweet. And then there's Osrix. Jody, she loved the, the quote that I put on there. She's like, that's such a true statement. Um, Brianna, and she actually read the quote out to me because she forgot that she said it. So she read it out in the Minnesota accent. So I was like, I love you. Rob, being the sweetheart that he is, said that I did an awesome job and he really loved how it turned out. I have Ruth's right there. Julian's, which is probably one of my favorite, like, in terms of the painting. Like, the character. I think I really love how his came out. Uh, Richard's. Richard really loved saying my name. <laughs> he kept saying, Dasmin? Dasmin. Dasmin. 
so that was entertaining. And then last but not least, Mr. Matt Cohen. So those are all the things that I got signed. I actually really love how they look. I'm very critical, as most people are, of the things that they make. So I, I was like, are they gonna like them? I don't know. So I'm glad that they did. And I'm already getting ready for next year. I'm already um, gonna start working on my paintings for next year for San Francisco. Okay, now on to the photo ops. And this video is already like significantly shorter than last year, but this is where it'll linger. So, my first photo op of the day was with Kim and Brianna, and I was super excited because I had never met Kim before because she canceled that pass con. So, I was debating between the sheriffs and they, uh, they had put up a new Christmas theme called Jolly AF. So, I was like debating, so I just went with the sheriffs, and then Elle actually bought... Um, L actually bought the Jolly AF photo, so I'll show you guys that after this. I don't have the physical copy, so I'm gonna put in. Um, so I'm gonna put in the picture that I took of it. So this is my sandwich photo with Kim and Brianna, and I love it. They're they're such badasses, like they really are. They're both gorgeous, like they are gorgeous women, and they're just so sweet. And I love. I just love um, I love everything about them. I cannot say a negative thing about them. Kim, Kim's mouth is so filthy, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And Brianna's just sexy as hell. <laughs> she really is. So they are amazingly beautiful, gorgeous women. They are amazing actresses. They are so sweet. I love them to death, and I cannot wait to meet them again. I'm hoping I can go to a convention where they do one of their... Um, pajama parties which is going to be a thing next year so I'm really excited for that um like I said I didn't get to meet Kim last year so I definitely wanted to get a solo with her like I did last year I got solos pretty much hugging everyone so that's what I did this year with people I haven't met so that is my solo with Kim can, oh no okay she's just so freaking adorable she's so pretty and she's so sweet like and, like, she's, like, the epitome of badass women, I think. She's, like, I feel like badass woman, and I would, at least in my world, if you look up, like, badass woman, it would just be a picture of Kim Rhodes, because she's, she's badass. Um, so my picture with Osric, um, it was before his panel, so no one knew if he was going to be in cosplay or not. But I know he's been cutting back on the cosplaying, and I don't know if it's because of he just doesn't want to or if the convention is asking him to cut down. But I didn't know what to do with him. I made the decision right when I stepped up to him. I was like, okay, we're just going to do this. So I told him, I was like, let's just lace our hands together and be cute. Um, it took a while because at first I was looking at Chris, the photographer, and Osric was looking at me. And then when I realized that, I turned and I looked at Osric and I was like, okay, this is how we're going to do it. Okay. And then as soon as I did that, he was like, oh, okay. And then he looked at the camera and while I was looking at him. So finally, we're just like, let's, let, let's both look at the camera. And I actually think it came out cute. I, I mean, he looks adorable. I'm, I'm not saying anything about me, but he looks freaking adorable. So there is the picture. He looks so cute. And again, I don't know if it's me. <laughs> But, uh, he's wearing something Harry Potter, again, and he was Harry Potter last year, so, I love Harry Potter. I am a proud Hufflepuff. Um, I have Harry Potter on my desk behind, uh, the camera, but, I want to see another fandom. <laughs> I want to see him dress as something else. Uh, it's my first time meeting Julian, and he's so quirky, and I love it. I love that he's a little out there, and... He's so sweet and British. And so we did death. And I just love that as he, he was death in the photo ops, he's dressed in his character. And I love the face that he gives to everyone that hugs him. It's almost like a scared, surprised look like, you're hugging death. Like, you, you know that, right? Like, you're hugging death. But okay, it's, that's what you want. So. Here's the photo. <laughs> I mean, look at his face. Like, that is hysterical. 
I love it. He was he was so freaking sweet. I would love to meet him again. Because he was so nice. And he can dance. <laughs> he when he starts dancing, he will not stop. Uh, my picture with Ruth, again, this was like a very last minute. I'm really good at coming up with photo op ideas for other people, not for myself at all. I, I chicken out. But this one I was just like, let's just be, let's just be really cute. And of course, if anyone has met Ruth, she's freaking adorable. So, that's my picture. And she looks so cute. Everyone was all like, oh, that's so cute. I got an R2M this year instead of getting individuals with Richard, Rob, and Matt. But next year, I'm definitely getting individuals with Richard and Matt because I haven't yet for the conventions. But uh, in terms of cost, I needed to cut down a little bit or I wasn't going to be able to eat at all during the convention. So I just got a big old group hug with, with R2M. And they're just all so sweet. You can't say enough about any of them. Misha. Misha, Misha, Misha. So, um, I have them right here. I made Mickey ears for my follow ups. It was my first time ever making anything like this. I've never made Mickey ears before. Um, but I made them for each, uh, one for each of the boys and then a pair for me to wear in all my photo ups. So these were the ones that I wore. I made baby ears. So, the license plate and Sam Winchester, Dean Winchester, and on the back of all the ears, I wrote Supernatural Family. So, I wore these during all of the autos, or autos photos. And uh, for Misha, I made Casty L ears, which are a little loose now. Um, but, you know, his suit, his handprint, and then there are feathers in the bow. Again, supernatural family so I asked him to wear them and uh, when I handed them to him he looked at them and he was like feeling over the material he was playing with the uh, the little flaps here for the for the coat he was playing with them and one second yes thank you thank you anyway um, so he was playing with these little flaps and he was just like rubbing his hands all over them and he was all like, you made these? Yeah, I made them. He's like, these are really cool. And he just puts them on. So there they are. I'm going to pick up my camera and see if I can show these better because I really like these. There we go. So I love that one. I think I'm just going to hold the camera for their photo ops because... They look better now. Um, I'm gonna keep wearing these. Why not? Um, next photo op was with Mark, and I'm terrified of Mark, even though he's one of the sweetest people ever that I've ever met. Contradictory to what a lot of people want to say. Um, but, you know, some people have bad experiences with Mark. I have yet to. Um, so I think he's sweet. So I just hugged him because I'm scared to do anything else with him. But he's always really nice to me. He always calls me sweetheart or darling, and I love it. Jensen. So the same with Jensen. I wore these, and I made these ears for him, which are his demon, his demon dean outfit, the mark, and I put a black bow with Samulet, SPN family, and I handed it to him, and I was like, I made these for you. I would like you to wear them if you want. And he did the same thing that Misha did. He like looked at them back and forth. And he's all like, these are really cool. And then he saw that I was wearing baby. And I was like, and I want you to hug me from behind. And then he made a comment. And he said, um, he said something along the lines of, oh yeah, I, Dean loves to hug baby. And I was just like, I love you. Like, you're so adorable. So, sorry for the switching. So this is my photo with Jensen. I really love it. I love it. I just love that they wore my ears because these were such like a last minute idea and I never made them before and I'm actually happy with how they came out. I'm actually going to take these off now because they're starting to fall um, from the beanie. So these are pretty much all my Jared photos. Um, so 
I paid for one Jared photo op and L because she's too much and I know she's gonna watch this I don't trust you you're conniving but you're amazing because you don't have to do any of this um, she had me share um, her Jared photo op that was given to as a gift to her and then she bought a J2M which is Jared Jensen and Misha and she bought that and had me be in it with her um, so because of the photo I shared with her, she said I had to pick the idea. Uh, so originally we were going to have Jared like flexing and us being like him being like a Hercules type like, oh yeah, like I know, like look at these guns, I know. Um, and we were going to be like, <gasps> like touching his muscles and stuff like that. Um, but he was wearing a hoodie so I didn't, and he was already hot in that room. He kept turning the fan on and his hair was blowing and it was beautiful but I felt bad at the same time so I just asked him to do like a superhero pose and he did so that's I'm covering his face so that's our photo with Jared our hero so Jared with the ears because Jared is Jared if you've met Jared he he doesn't say a bad thing like at all he's so sweet he will do anything he can to make you feel special and he definitely does um I gave him the ears and he saw the blood. He thought the blood on the ears was really cool. Um, let me grab them. So the flannel, blood, Ruby's knife, his big family. And he thought they were really cool. And he's like, these are awesome. You you made these. I'm like, yeah, I did. Um, and he was like, all right, well, which side do you want me to wear them on? Do you want me to wear them with the blood on the side or, or on the front or the supernatural family? I was like, the blood and everything. So he wore them and... <laughs> It's not a it's not a surprise how much Jared means to me, but it, it, his face, he's so cute. I love him. I'm not gonna show this picture yet. Because this picture makes me cry, so I'm gonna skip ahead. I'll show that last. Um so this is the J2M. Jared's hair is not made of magic, you guys. I'm so sorry to disappoint. His hair is not magical. It does get messed up and it's not perfect. Uh, proof of my picture. Um, Misha likes to use people as tables and as elbow rests because he did this to Elle all weekend. And J Jensen is like the happiest when he's messing around with those two because his face in this photo. So there's ours. So you can you can't really tell, but Misha is using Elle as a table, which he did in most of the photos with her. Look at the look on Jensen's face. He was messing around with the boys, having the time of his life. And then Jared. How cute are we? But if you look right there, you can see <laughs> what his hair is doing like a weird arch thing on top of my head. I love it because it's proof that his hair is really not magical, but I thought it was awesome. I loved it. Um, I forgot to throw in the Jolly AF photo. So what we did was, it's such a last minute, we're like, what are we going to do? So I decided that we were going to make naughty or naughtier signs for them to hold instead of naughty or nice. Because let's face it, Brianna and Brie, Brianna and Brie, yeah, Brianna and Brie, Brianna and Kim are both they're definitely on naughty lists, like for freaking sure. They're like at the top of it. So we did that, and Brianna's face is amazing, and Kim's wearing um, the Wayward AF ornaments as earrings. So I'm gonna throw that picture in for you guys right now. All right, so my last picture with Jared. Um, this is a photo op I bought there at the con. Um, on the website, it said they were available, and when I got there, they said they were sold out. So I was like, damn it, like there was a photo op I really wanted to do that I've been wanting to do forever, but I was always too scared to do it. Um, and then on Saturday, when I came, no, Friday, Friday, when I went downstairs, they actually removed the sold out sign and they said limited quantities available. So I threw all my stuff at Elle and I said, give me my wallet. And this was, I did the ears photo. So what we did is Elle took her picture with Jared. And then we did our 
picture with him together and then I did the Mickey ear photo and then I did this one and I cry every time I see this picture like I'm I'm trying not to cry right now but his face in this picture just it's I'm trying to get good there we go I just get really emotional when I see this picture because it's his face that gets me. Me? I'm not. No. It's him. It's the emotion in his face that gets me. And yeah. I just really love it. This is something I've been wanting to do forever, but I was always too scared to ask him to do it. Um, and this came out like a thousand times better than I thought it ever would. It was an emotional picture for me because, yeah, Jared's my hero. I think a lot of people know that, especially if you've seen my um, video of me getting my tattoo, which, um, speaking of tattoos, you know, I did my photo, uh, my autograph with Jared, and, sorry, I'm, I'm distracted, um, so, you know, he loved the painting, and I thanked him. I was like, thank you for taking one of my ops with me. It really meant a lot to me. It's something I can look at, you know, and when things are going wrong, like I, like that's like my safe place is that picture. And he said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm really glad I could give that to you. And, you know, my painting was still on the table. So I started to slide it away, walk away. And he reached over and grabbed my hand and like pulled me back a little bit. And he goes, by the way, I still love the tattoo. And he pointed at my chest and then he winked at me and I started, I got the hell out of there because I started crying because I didn't show it to him the weekend. I didn't mention it to him on Sunday. I didn't say anything. And the fact that he pointed at my chest and said, I still love the tattoo. I lost it. My friends lost it. Uh, my best friend in Georgia was texting me going, I knew it, I knew he was going to remember you, I knew it. I doubted it because this man meets how God knows how many people a year. So that was incredible. It was incredible. And I loved every second of it. I love every second of these conventions. So that's pretty much it. That's my experience. Um, you know, it wasn't the perfect weekend. There were some issues. And there were problems, but overall, the good and the amazing things that happened at the convention completely outweighed the bad, negative things that happened and all the stress and anxiety and all of that. Karaoke was kick-ass. The concert was amazing, as always, because Loud and Swain puts everything into their performances. And yeah, everything was amazing. The they were, they, I say this all the time, there's no sweeter cast and like more fan like involved than the cast of Supernatural. There really, really isn't. Um, and if there is, I, I don't know them because I don't feel like there's a cast as involved in their fans' lives as this one. But that's it, you guys. That's pretty much everything that I got this year. Um, I'm already saving for next year. So, if you guys are going to be uh, hitting up a con next year, if you guys are going to San Francisco, there is a good chance I will be there as well. So, if you guys are there, hit me up, and I would love to meet, meet you guys. I'd love to meet any fan for Supernatural, because we are family. But, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are going to your first convention and have any questions you know, leave me a comment down below or shoot me a message. Uh, I'm on here, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. You can reach out to me on any of those and I will definitely help you out or give you advice or, you know, if you guys have questions or if you're nervous about going to a convention or photo, whatever. Um, my inbox is open. So thanks for watching you guys. I really appreciate it, especially since this is a really long video. I'm so sorry. Um, if you guys want to see the vlogs that I filmed this weekend, pretty much snippets of the panels and all of that and if you guys would like to see the random act that I performed this weekend um with my neighbor Aaliyah 
uh, please definitely check that out. I will leave the links to all of my vlogs down in the description as well as the vendors who made the amazing things that I bought. So thanks for watching again, you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It should probably stop recording. Kitty.